For Chiari 3, this is the rarest among the three Chiaris. And remember is to try about try to think about the pathology. So um, the reason for the abnormality is small posterior fossa, it's a root cause, and a bony defect in the occipital and cervical region. So if you get a small posterior fossa and then you get a bony defect, the contents of, um, of the brain posteriorly will herniate out. That's why you get herniation of meninges, you get malformed brain, and you get herniation of the ventricles, or what you call the cephalosil. Mm. So you get a small posterior fossa, displaced brain stem, bony defect, and a cephalosil. So in addition, um, Chiari 3 would also show some of the features which is seen in Chiari 2. And this would include, uh, well, aside from the small posterior fossa, which is in the first place common among the Chiari malformations, 1, 2, 3. You also get uh, abnormally shaped or scalloped clivus. Similar to Chiari 2, scallop clivus. And you may also get a lacunar skull. Again, you develop that lacunar skull when you do not have a good closure of the ventricular system. And you do not develop the stimulus for development of the brain surrounding it and the brain not giving the stimulus to develop the overlying skull. So, that's a summary of Chiari 1, 2, and 3. Um, it might be helpful to remember bone, brain, bone, bone, or Maybe we can remember it as bo, ba, bo, bo. Well, so bo, ba, bo, bo. Bo is for bone, meaning the root cause in carry one, which could explain our imaging findings, is just a bone or bone or cartilage problem in the posterior fossa, in that small posterior fossa cause your tonsillar uh, ectopia. I am sorry, uh, well, correct, tonsillar, caudal tonsillar ectopia. Ba for brain, meaning the root cause of the imaging findings we see is due to a brain problem which is the neural tube closure that's why uh, neural tube closure is the problem that's why you all, you almost always have your myelo meningocele and the other findings boba and then bo bo the root cause here is a small posterior fossa and then you get a bony defect in the posterior that's why the brain herniates so that's what characterizes this uh, Chiari 3, which is your uh, cephalosil.